What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to My Heroes. Now today I want to go over a couple of things. Uh, starting off with, you know, I want to show a little bit of arena gameplay because we haven't been doing gameplay enough, man. And me, I love playing games. That's all there is to it. So we're going to do an arena match and show off what my build is currently and what it looks like in play before I talk about what my build is because people want me to do build guides. And what better guide to do first than my official build? This is patented, man. This is what I run uh, just to skyrocket through the game. I've yet to run into a single wall. I'm sitting at A grade right now as far as my account goes. I'm number four in gold arena. I'm right below nothing but whales. There's three whales ahead of me. And then, you know, other people that were mega whales that got themselves into some crazier rank than that. But like gold is nasty for my first promotion, especially considering I don't have all the time in the world to just play all day. I do have two channels and I am on TikTok and I do uh, uh, other work related stuff outside of that. Um, so, you know, we we got a lot of happening over here in Castle Ladain and I'm sitting at a stupid... Uh, account right now just a dumb account and the build is a huge reason for it so I'm gonna go over uh, what it is why it works and then you know you're gonna get ideas for how to build your own way based on how it works as well because I like to do one thing other creators hate about me but like players like about me is that I teach y'all how to swim or how to fish you know like I don't just lead you to the water I don't just give you a fish as the saying goes I teach y'all how because I do I don't believe we have a community full of uh, morons even if you found me through a guide or anything like it's entirely because you're new to the thing you know what I mean it's not because you're dumb uh we have a very like we have a big brain community and like a relaxed community outside of just like the people that are big brained you know not everyone has to be big brained it's fine man uh but we have a very intelligent community over here i'll say that right off the bat 8k that's pretty or 800k pretty nasty so I, I like to teach y'all how to fish is all you know i like to give you guys the blueprints to getting crazy we're gonna be in diamond uh next time it rolls around we are sitting right below honestly this dude's really close to us and then these two are just insanely high up bro this is also two levels higher than me interesting interesting we gotta get up there man but here we are with the, the build that we're running i want to answer a couple of questions as well uh, as far as like how I'm playing on PC, the entire answer is blue stacks, blue stacks. It's a, you can download it on your PC. Uh, you know, LD player as well works very well. I might link them. The only reason I don't like to link stuff like that is because then people are like, oh, it's sponsored link and stuff like that. And honestly, like, I don't know, like maybe I should just so you guys don't like uh, install something unsafely. You know, I actually will. I'll link, uh, I'll link blue stacks cause it works perfect on this one. Um, and then people were asking about pets. I'll show off my pets as well in this one and talk about how they work. But this is the build right here. So my shirt I'm going to start out with is uh, such a pinnacle point of my entire build. Everything here synergizes perfectly. And that's why I'm so busted right now. Um, no walls hit whatsoever at this point. So this shirt right here, the techie suit. It's only a uh, level 15. I mean only, but you know, <laughs> level 15 is nice, man. 15 and 20 is what I have available at the moment. Um, it's going to give me... Uh, when I take damage, I get health spawn. So I get drops of HP orbs when I get hit for 30% chance every time I get hit. If I'm getting hit a lot, I'm getting a lot of health drops. And of course, 50% chance of spawn of mana orbs, which means if I'm getting hit, I'm getting more mana back, which means I can use more skills. And also I'm getting more health, so I'm getting rewarded for getting hit. This makes me hyper aggressive for a defensive passive. The more I get hit, the more health I get back and the more skills I get up. It's pretty busted. This is my favorite shirt right now. This techie suit. It is nasty and it works around the rest of the build. So this one right here, when my mana is above 50, I will fire three elemental orbs to attack the nearby enemies. Uh, basically, I'm going to be getting over 50 mana a lot often um, and they're going to do 22% weapon damage. That is 66% weapon damage every single time I'm above 50 MP. That's very easy to do, especially considering my, uh, where does it say your actual MP? At, it's in here somewhere, right? Survival stats, other stats. Uh, is there like a, I don't know, man. It must be 50%. It's fine. The point is getting over 50% and bam, three shots come out. And then, you know, I use my skills up. I get hit. I get more mana orbs and then more shots come out. That's only 66 or 66% mm, damage, but it comes out often because I'm always getting mana orbs and I'm always using my mana. So that's pretty nasty. On top of that, you know, you got the, uh, as far as the bonuses, we'll go over substats in a second, but I mean, you can see the substats on your screen and the main stats if you're curious. I think the passives are the point though. And then, you know, the runes and the gems and the cards as well. So we'll get to those as well. You can see what the stats are looking like for yourself if you are so curious, but I'll go over the basic idea of them as well. But enemies whose HP is less than 40% take 30% weapon damage from basic attack. And there's one reason I have this helmet on. 
because my entire build is about survivability but it's hard to survive against bosses and also like a killing with these later game bosses has been a challenge i was using something that was giving me damage or uh, every time it was just giving me more damage i believe it was uh, every couple of basic attacks it was sending bombs out to people it was cool and all but like i needed something specifically for bosses this is a boss killing helmet when you get a boss down to below 40 percent health they take 30 percent more basic attack damage that's really nasty that's disgusting this is a, the boss killing helmet for me right now and i can't get away with anything else it's just broken and it's helping me get those three stars it's helping me finish content um it's just it's gorgeous man and on top of that it does help if you're using aoe weapons as well because you know you're hitting crowds of enemies and when they drop to 40 percent hp or less you're doing 30 percent extra damage to them with an aoe weapon you're actually getting so much damage out spread out with an aoe weapon it's unbelievable and i am rocking the king fishy which is aoe and the green laser which is aoe but we'll get to that in a second now silver pendant whenever you take a mana and pick up orbs at all hp mana doesn't matter uh it, a frost mine comes out now this sounds random right so basically like i pick up an orb of hp or mana it's going to send out a 210 percent you know, weapon damage a frost shot but this is the only crowd control I have, period, in my entire kit, including my skills. This is the only crowd control I have. It freezes people when I pick up the HP and MP. I don't care that I don't have anything that works off of Bone Chill, which does, uh, I believe, slow enemies after they come off of Frozen. What it really does for me is it provides extra damage coming out every time I pick up the mana and HP orbs and freezes people and the slow is nice. And I'm getting a lot of mana and HP orbs, so I'm getting a lot of this extra damage off including on bosses, but on enemies specifically, because I want to freeze them. And I'm getting a lot of crowd control passively every time I get hit, because it works perfect with Techie Suit. I get hit, I get HP and mana orbs. And then, you know, the silver pendant is going to give me frost shots flying out every time I pick them up, every three seconds, which is a very, very short cooldown for something like that. Crowd control, damage, gorgeous, works perfect with the shirt. And this one right here is actually just random. Uh, it's completely random, but I just like having the extra damage. That's it. I just wanted a little more damage. I already have the survivability. I might swap this out with something. And if I do swap it out, I don't know what I'll swap it out for. It definitely needs to be a ring, right? I mean, like, I don't know. Honestly, I'm so cool with it. We'll worry about that later. I'll show you guys if I swap it out or not. I'm so happy with it right now. It just, it seems out of place. And maybe that's what throws me off about it. But summon thunder from the sky to strike enemies every five seconds. 120% uh, weapon damage. So this is an AOE shot, as a matter of fact, every five seconds with 120% weapon damage. It's kind of disgusting. Now, the only reason it kind of doesn't fit me is because, like, it doesn't have anything to do with boss killing, which is a weak point for me. It doesn't have anything to do with the mana HP synergies that I have with everything else, but what it does do is give me more AOE damage, which honestly helps me clear out waves faster and get to the boss faster although wave clearing is probably gonna get swapped out what would we swap it out for what would we swap it out for let's take a look at these two rings right here it's probably gonna be one of these two i don't see any crazy rings chilling up here uh nothing is a ring up here actually there's no 20 rings man we ain't chilling on any maybe that's why i haven't swapped it out yet what does this do gain a shield every 18 seconds yeah you know nah, i'm sticking with this <laughs> anyways um we'll figure yeah, at a later date but this right here boots of adventure whenever you pick up a mana or hp orb attack speed plus 30 and movement speed plus 20 you see a theme right here i get more attack speed by a lot and more movement speed by a lot when i pick up a mana and hp orb and so there's you know how many mana and hp i'm i'm attacking so much faster oh when i have this attached this in the shirt i'm gonna be getting hp and mana orbs all the time you saw it there i'm gonna be attacking faster and moving faster all the time it lasts five seconds it doesn't have a cooldown I'm just speedy Gonzalez left and right, and my attack speed is nasty the entire fight. That's the gear. As far as the weapons go, I'm rocking green laser. This is an AoE a grass weapon. Um, it's busted. It is though. I think it's the first purchase bonus. So if you spend a dollar, you get it. And I'm over here like, yeah, a dollar, right? Like, yeah, why not? I just wanted to see what it was. It's busted. Like, it's, it's big busted. Um, uh, for me, because everyone knows me at this point, I believe in supporting developers. People think I'm sponsored because I say that, but I say about ed any game you like. If you like the game, uh, you support them. And if you are in the camp of, no, I will never support a developer, then congratulations, you're the reason that whales exist while you stay free to play. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being free to play in, like, a lot of games, but, like, if everyone paid a little bit, there wouldn't be whale meta because they'd just be getting bread from everybody, you know what I mean? That's kind of how it works. That's why, like, you know, like, premium games don't have anything to pay for in them, because they know they're getting some money. 
But either way, either way, I digress, man. I mean, it, it is what it is. But Blood Claw over here, I don't get any money for you spending money on this game. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. I, I don't know why I have to say that. But either way, Blood Claw. So this right here is just, it's a fire weapon. Single target damage, very good for boss killing. Um, I don't use it as much as you might expect, though. Um, it's, it's cool. I do want to swap it out. The damage isn't high enough. The attack rate is too slow is the problem. It's just, it's a fire weapon. It's the only fire weapon I have. And like I always say, you need one of each element. Now over here, King Fishy, within five seconds after activation, you'll heal on hit with all weapons for five seconds or 5% weapon damage. That's the reason I have it. Big bite. When I swap to this weapon for five seconds, I can swap to any other weapon and I will get 5% weapon damage healing. That means I can swap to this and then swap back to this and get 5% weapon damage healing off of an AOE spinning attack. It's disgusting, keeps me alive. It's my heal. It's like having a skill, it's so broken, man. Now, as far as my, I mean, you can see right here, my talents, just damage, damage, damage. And I finally have a little shielding started, but just, I mean, I have the accurate, I have the crit damage, I have the attack, and I have the attack. Uh, it's boring, but like also, like I say, I play super aggressive. Shielding, gorgeous. Natural Blessing, gorgeous for this wood attack because you're going to see a little theme going on. As far as the runes go, I am rocking a full grass build. Now, that being said, I, you know, like all kinds of wood attack, like right here, wood energy up, wood energy up, wood energy up, wood energy up, all of them, all of them, all of them, all of them. Um, that being said, if I go over to my skills, that's because Flash of Ruin and I lie strike. I lie strike, I don't know how to actually say it. Um, this is my skill build right here. I lie strike, straight shot, big damage, AoE. Uh, we got water cage for my water attack because I do want an attack of every single type. Um, it's just an AoE circle that just hurts everyone that step into it. And it's goaded. And it's also blue, which means it's very easy to star up because any water blue uh, skill I can use the books for. And I'm only using one water skill, so I can five star this easy. As far as grand fire, uh, it's my fire attack. It does, good, it does amazing damage and it's also blue, so it's very easy to star up. And, you know, we got Flash of Ruin for my Legendary, which I'm never going to star up. And then, you know, Eli Strike, which is just uh, doing goaded uh, damage. It's also hard to star up because it's purple, but uh, two grass types that are harder to star up. I'm cool with it. And then two easy to star up, Fire and Water. I don't have anything for healing, anything for defense. The entire reason is I get so much HP back from that shirt. I've never needed it ever. I've never, I've never felt like I needed to put a heal in my kit. That's all there is to it. Um, maybe at some point. As far as soul cards go, we are rocking out with a race a demon. We are rocking out with a race Gosha. Um, so Gosha is giving me a 4% boss damage. Yes, absolutely. And of course, we got the crit mod plus 40. Uh, out of the demon, I'm working on a hunter build as well. I need two of them to make it happen. It's going to give me extra crit damage. Uh, we're rocking this dude right here. You can see the nasty stats. Pause it if you so choose because I'm not trying to make this 10 hours long. Wood attack, fire attack, attack speed, max HP. We got crit damage, max MP, cooldown reduction. We got uh, slots attack plus 48%. And this is such, this is disgusting. That's 48%. Um, you know, and then of course, uh, so whatever the attack stat is on that slot is going to be boosted. Not just my attack stat. You know, keep that in mind. It's going to be like, if that weapon is giving me plus 100 attack, it's going to give me almost 150 attack now because of that. That's all there is to it. And crit mod and all that. Um, all that being said, uh, this, this is the current build that's gotten me so far in the game that like, I actually don't know when I'm going to be able to slow down. Um, I have yet to run out of, uh, any uh, options here. Now the, I did get the question on how the pets work. So I'll answer that real quick while I talk about my pets. I'm rocking Belial. Um, he's a uh, big busted, got him out of the event. I'm rocking lethargic sage who I did get out of the, uh, first purchase bonus. I got King Bat that I summoned and I got Lava Fudge that I uh, summoned. Uh, so if you're curious on how these work, whoever you have as your leader is going to be using their skill. This dude's going to be using Flame Blitz on me. I would almost always recommend just using your rarest one. And once you're, once you have an offense one, use it until you really know what the skills do and you're more comfortable with the game itself. And then worry about what the other stuff does. But like, Offensive stats tend to be pretty slick. Pets have your stats. So this dude's gonna be out here doing uh, my damage, right? Like, or like based off my damage. So his 83% plus 142 is gonna be 83% of my weapon damage plus 142. That's how pets work. They get your stats. They give you stat bonuses just for having them equipped. And then the skill is going to be your character. Uh, they, like they're gonna be using that with your character if they're walking around. Anyone that you don't have as your leader, they ain't doing nothing except giving you stats. So that's all there is to it. Uh, that's the build. Is there anything I missed? 
And that was a lot to cover, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, uh, but that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that is the busted build. Uh, this right here is just so goaded, you have no idea. But that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to be working on it every single day. This ring is the next one to go. The only thing that's going to go is this ring at some point. And, you know, I'll be coming up with crazy builds for the future as well. This thing right here is such a busted healing item. It's unbelievable. I love Kingfishy. If you're having trouble surviving, swap to Kingfishy, swap to anything else immediately, and just heal back to full. Kingfishy is busted. I'm not, I have the event weapon. I'm not even using it because Kingfishy is busted. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support on the series. And, uh, you know, I got two more videos coming out today of first impressions that hopefully you guys are enjoying as well. Because we're looking for side games out here. Everyone's talking about, yo, I wish I had infinite energy. That's what side games are for, bro. That's what side games are for. So I'm trying to find a couple of cool PvP ones if I can muster it. And we'll see how that works out. But I'll see you in those in literally a couple of hours on both of them. And, you know, until then, peace out.